All right, hot take from Google Clouds, Cloud Field Day 20 presentation, which I attended yesterday. Vertex AI, what is it? What problem is it solving? It's, I'm still formulating my thoughts, thus a hot take. I'm going to do a whiteboard on this. But the overall problem that it solves is putting a wrapper around AI in a way that enterprises and developers, data scientists can actually leverage. Yes, I can take an OEM server, put some graphics cards in that server, install PyTorch, Python, my software layer, and build a solution. If I have distributed data challenges, if I have data sovereignty issues, compliance issues, yes, that is the route that more likely I have to take. But if I don't have those concerns or if I can go around those concerns, Vertex AI and similar solutions solve this problem of creating a platform that's not fragile. I don't think people realize how early AI we are from a platform perspective. Getting the right drivers, setting up the environment, optimizing for speed, containerizing applications. Solutions exist, but we're still extremely early days. This is like managing early Kubernetes or, or worse on premises. Google Cloud Vertex is taking away that complexity and just simply giving you a platform. Do you want to use Gemini? Do you want to use Llama 3? Do you want to use any of the models that you can get from a model marketplace? Apply that to your data and then use something like a Google Cloud Run to create the logic, the application logic to trigger that off. All you're worried about is the application logic, your data, and what model you want to use. And the compute is all handled for you. Google is using GKE in the background and it's uh, CPUs, GPUs, et cetera, whatever you want to inference off of. And it becomes a portable way to create AI. More, more importantly, it becomes a portable way to develop for AI. It's a hot take. There's a lot more to unpack. There's a lot more to discover. We spent seven, eight hours with Google yesterday. Amazing conversations. I'm going to pour through my notes and uh, promise a little bit more detail around kind of cloud AI versus on-prem AI versus hybrid. 